The Line documentary highlights four American families' struggle with poverty and hunger. The grassroots film pushes for more federal help at a critical time when members of Congress inch closer to the fiscal cliff. Joining me to talk about poverty and the 210,000 San Diegans considered food insecure is executive director of San Diego Hunger Coalition, Jennifer Tracy, and Hannah Gravett with the San Diego Organizing Project. Thank you both for being here. The film's title, The Line, is a reference to the federal poverty line, which is defined as a family of four with an income of just over $23,000 a year. Jennifer, how many people live at this poverty line in San Diego County or below it, and how many of them are in need of food? assistance? There's actually about a half a million people in San Diego County alone that struggle to get enough food to eat. And the poverty rate in San Diego is about 14.8 percent um, overall. But of those, um, about almost 20 percent of children live in poverty. So that's about one in five kids in our communities that struggle. Um, Hannah, you brought this film, you helped bring this film to San Diego. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think that it's important for San Diego to watch this, even though the stories are set in, in Illinois and, and other states? Well, as you heard Jennifer just say, those same stories exist here in San Diego, too. And it's, a, it's definitely a problem that exists in our community. We can't ignore it. We really feel like it's very important to start a dialogue here in San Diego. To how do we bring these families out of the shadows and really help raise them up so they don't have to live in poverty? How can this community support them? And we're going to talk about shadows and stigma in just a minute, but first we have a clip from the film where a single dad describes what it was like for him to cross into that mm -hmm. or over that poverty line. The line is where you were always in a position to give, to give help. And then for the first time, this line of I've gone from being somebody who could help to being somebody who needs help. Somebody that has gone from helping a worker to needs help. Uh, that's happened a lot since the 2008 recession, Hannah. What are some of the stories you've heard here in San Diego? I've heard, I hear stories every day of people that I interact with in the community through my work about um, people who have had st 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 stable jobs, steady jobs, have gotten sick, weren't able to work, then had, you know, huge amounts of, of debt because of their illness and fallen into poverty. It's going to take a long time to crawl back out. And uh, there's certainly um, a, a struggle, the, the emotional struggle, but the dad also, Jennifer, talked about uh, trying to get on food assistance and how it was difficult for him both emotionally and, and physically. Um, what kind of programs are here and available to the hungry? We have a very generous community that donates to our food banks, which are really important. We also have school nutrition programs that are a really effective way of addressing child hunger. And we also have the SNAP program, or CalFresh in San Diego, which is also an extremely effective way of addressing hunger, and it's very efficient. Um, it's one of the best ways to fight hunger in our communities. And that's the program that's at risk uh, right now because why? Right now in Congress, um, there are cuts that are proposed, and currently the bill is uh, the farm bill is stalled in the House. Republicans are fighting amongst themselves about how draconian they want to be in the cuts that they'll make, and those cuts would significantly affect San Diegans in our communities and make hunger that much more prevalent. Um, if those cuts, I think it was up to like a, supposedly Congress said up to thirty-five billion dollars over the next ten years, mm -hmm. Jennifer. Uh, if those cuts did happen, specifically, you said here, how many people it would affect? Um, I think it would affect overall about 8 to 10 million people in the nation, and so a significant portion of that would be in San Diego County. And, and that's part of the reason this film actually went uh, to, was sent to uh, every congressman mm -hmm. member in uh, Washington, D.C. Um, the documentary also talks about that shadow and stigma we were uh, alluding to earlier. Let's, let's listen. Some of the most prevalent and damaging stereotypes about poor people are that they're lazy, that they're stupid, they don't have any skills, prefer poverty, that they can't take care of their families. So, Hannah, um, some of those stereotypes, mm -hmm. how, how true are they? What's the situation here? I would say they're not true at all. In fact, even today for the show, I didn't want to be the one here. There were four individuals that are living in poverty in San Diego that I invited to come on the show. All of them are working. They couldn't come because they're at work today. So I think the main thing to say that I, my understanding is that people that are, are working multiple jobs to survive, people living in poverty work hard. And the truth is, I would say many of us are only one paycheck away, one accident away from poverty. And I think this film really does highlight that. Okay, well, you can watch the uh, online, uh, the, the documentary, The Line, on our website at kpbs.org. Jennifer Tracy and Hannah Gravett, thank you so much for uh, talking with us about this today. Thank you.